Tonight, the community in Waukesha is gathering to remember and honor the victims. And WGN's Julian Cruz is live where a vigil wrapped up this evening. Julian. Well, Ray, organizers of tonight's emotional gathering pointing to the lighting of the menorah ceremony as symbolic of evil being cast out by light. The community pulling together with tonight's tragic news of a sixth victim. At times like this, when our spirits are crushed, we need each other. Local Jewish leaders and many others urging people to do acts of kindness for others as a way to heal, especially with news of more victims. Five adults killed by a runaway driver and a sixth victim identified as eight-year-old Jackson Sparks succumbing to his injuries. It impacts all of us. It's like if someone in your family is hurting, you hurt. Give our community a hug. That's what we need right now. Waukesha County Executive Paul Farrow at the solemn ceremony at the Rotunda in downtown Waukesha, just blocks from Sunday's tragic parade route. People here giving a heartfelt thanks to the police officers, paramedics, nurses, and doctors treating the injured. I'm so grateful that they have the skill, the knowledge to help to heal those. The number of injured now updated tonight to 62. The growing scale of this tragedy hitting home. This is going to take a while. We are going to be in this for a long time. We will come out a better community because of it. And tragically, that eight year old boy who passed away due to his injuries has a sibling, a brother who is also, he is being treated uh, for very serious injuries as well, compound, compounding the tragedy uh, for this family. And Waukesha, Wisconsin, Julian Cruz, WGN News.